So, back for some more BGC18 with this Charizard X team. So, this will be the final final episode of this week. But then there's only been three episodes though, um, and the majority of people in last um, in the last episode were just about leaning towards making the slight changes that I would make to the team. Um, so that seems to be um, what's going to happen for next week. So I will um, will only be having three episodes next week as well because um, I got my first exam on Tuesday. So I um, I will be even more busy around that time but it'll be the only only three weeks of just three episodes but immediately find Japanese guy which is good so this guy's not got rain which is nice can move on from rain but it's got Komo which can be a bit awkward I need to keep my Lele safe so that I can beat it because Lele is kind of the only thing that beats the Komo um it's got his own stack attack as well I think the Brillium should be a reasonably safe lead but I do tend to leave Brennium a lot. Because I don't have Dragon Claw on this Charizard. If I did, Komo is a bit more manageable. But, yeah, I just need to keep my Lele safe. So Lele has to come. I don't think I want my Lotic. My Lotic is okay, but it's not the best. I do kind of like my Landorus here. I don't think I brought my Landorus yet. I think I might bring my Landorus. Do I want Aegislash? Aegislash is reasonable as well. Because I think I do want my Charizard. But I do need my Lele as well. So I think it's going to be between Landorus and Aegislash here. And I'm leaning towards my Landorus. So I'm going to leave with Landorus and Breloom. And I'm going to have Lele in the back with Charizard. So that is the problem with this team. Like, there's usually three obvious Pokemon to bring, and then you're torn between one of two. So, let's see how this goes. So, is he going to lead immediately with Komo? Because if he does, I'm going to regret not leading with my Lele. But we'll see. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty good, actually. Because I could possibly get two surprise KOs here. And if I do, that would be lovely. But the problem would be if he is a Charizard X. I wouldn't expect him to be because he's got his Como O and Charizard Y pairs with Como O way better than Charizard X does. But I'm going to try and get two surprise KOs here. I'm going to go for a Rock Tomb into the Charizard. And I'm going to go for a Life Orb Hidden Power Ice into the, into the Landorus. So... This, is, this could be a very amusing turn. We'll see if he's got Scarf on his Landorus, if he flinches me with Rock Slide. Um, I think that's the only way that this can, can go wrong. Um, smart Protection Charizard. But what's going to happen... Okay, he is Scarf, and he's going to Scarf... Okay, so that's another way that this could go wrong. But because he's Scarf, this Hidden Power I should KO him. I am expecting it to. Nice, nice. Okay, and you probably saw that my Landorus also has a way of dealing with this um, with this Charizard as well. So even though my Brelin has lost its Scarf now, which isn't ideal. Like, I did think only Rock Slide would be bad. Um, only Scarf Rock Slide would be bad, more like. Um, maybe even Assault Vest. Um, but then, then he wouldn't be flinching me. But, hmm. So Brelin would go down to a Clangorous Assault Blaze here. So I'm going to switch into my Tapu Lele. Now I'm going to go for another Rock Tomb into the Charizard, this time with Landorus. Now I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm timid, rather than a defense minus nature. So this might not KO at minus one. And this is actually me learning. Because I barely use this Landorus. It's just thrown on the team on the team because it's a Landorus. But I'm going to be learning here if um, Rock Tomb is enough. So it is Charizard Y. Without the Intimidate, it's guaranteed. But we'll see otherwise. Because Breloom's always KOs because of Technician even at minus one, but we'll see if he's a timid Charizard. If he is, that's going to be awkward. He is a timid Charizard. Landorus should still take that, though, right? Now I need Rock Tomb to KO. Did not. That's a bit awkward. Especially because I KO myself. No, that's good. I KO myself. So it's Clangor Assault Blaze is going to do nothing and he's not going to get the boost. That's amazing. Oh, plan for. Yeah, I totally played for that turn. <laughs> that's brilliant. 
<laughs> that's so good. No boost for you. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I don't even need to cut the animation. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. Like, I, 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 that is such a good sound. I'm going to go into my Charizard here because I have to, but... Um, the problem is here, he, because he is the timid Charizard, that is a bit awkward. Um, so I do need to save my Lele so I can Moonblast that Como because he doesn't have his boost, so... And the problem is, because he is the timid Charizard, um, he will outspeed my, my Lele and be able to KO it. So I do need to protect him, but could protect his own Charizard. I don't think he's going to go for Clanging Scales here, so I'm leaning towards Mega Revolving and Dragon Dancing. I want to protect my Lele. I'm going to protect my Lele. Like, that, that's pretty much guaranteed. But what I'm leaning towards here is whether I Mega Revolve and Dragon Dance, or if I stay regular and Dragon Dance. Because if he goes for Clanging Scales, that's, that's awkward. So actually, I'm going to go for a regular Dragon Dance, just in case he Clanging Scales for some reason. I don't expect him to. That's pretty good. That is absolutely fantastic, so long as there is no... Um, rock move coming out from this Como. -O. Just to be, needs to be no, no rock move, and I should have this now. Because I am getting my Dragon Dance. Even if he was Scarf Bulu, then that's that's not a problem anymore. I just need no rock move, and I think I have this game. Flamethrower, that's fine, absolutely fine. Because now I get the Moonblast into the Como. -O. I get the Flare Blitz into the Tapu Bulu. Even if he's Scarfed, I outspeed now. Um, so I think I've got this game wrapped up, especially because Charizard is in Moonblast range in the back. So, um, the debate of whether I should Mega Revolve or not didn't really make a difference, but that's, that's fine. Because I'm pretty sure I've got this game wrapped up now. That, that Clangor of Soul Blaze into just the single fairy. <laughs> that Life Orb was, was spot on. I wanted to kill myself. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I wanted to KO myself. Or I wanted to KO my own Landorus. But, yeah. And, unless he's Focus Sash Bulu. Yeah, not Focus Sash Bulu, so the game is, is wrapped up now. That was really nice. That was really nice. Not not an ideal turn one. Like, that that knockoff into the Choice Scarf was one of the biggest ways that that turn could have gone wrong. I guess, like, a Flying EMZ into the into the Brelum as well. But I don't think people would do that if they don't know if it's not Sash yet. Um, but, yeah, that, that, was, that was brilliant. No Clanger of Soul Blaze for you. And I'm uh, like I, I don't really care how the the other match in this episode goes now because that was hilarious. I've done that a couple of times on Showdown. Um, I purposely sacrificed a Pokemon so that um, so that the Clangor Soul Blaze goes into my fairy. But yeah, like um, I'm, I should have gone for Flare Blitz there. In a tournament, always go for Flare Blitz there. Um, he's gonna forfeit, so it doesn't matter because revealing Thunder Punch and even revealing Psychic, I, I should have gone for Moon Blast Flare Blitz there. Um, which would have been the optimal play because it doesn't reveal any new information, but there we go. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was so good. Oh, I, I am I am perfectly content with that. Like, I, I, I do want to just leave it there because that was so amusing, but no, I'm not going to do that, especially because I'm, I'm doing less um, episodes this week, but that's, that's brilliant. That was so good. So almost at the 1600s. Like I said, I can't climb until February, so we'll be still playing bottom of the ladder at the moment, unfortunately. Unless, like, the, you have one of the super weird pairings where, like, the 1900s gets paired with the 1500s, but yeah, stay, we're staying bottom of the ladder for now. Which is a shame, because I think this team has reasonable potential. Like, when I've made my changes, it should have more potential, so... Um, it should be able to take on the people at the top, but there we go. I've also got my um, my MPA match um, tonight against uh, Zelda, who came second at Worlds in 2017. But that is going to be on Showdown, um, unfortunately, so I won't be able to put that on YouTube, onto YouTube. But what, what I'm planning to do, because my match against um, David Mancuso was um, was on Showdown as well, um, I might just do a, a, a video of going through those replays, like the the week one one and then the or week one ones and the um the week two ones against zelda and just putting them into one video because i would like to put my um mpa matches onto youtube but uh these these first two weeks won't be played on cartridge so 
Um, I think it would be a reasonable idea to just go through the replays, especially because I'm putting out only three episodes of this um, a week. Just having something else, just to fill that gap a little bit more, um, would be okay. But I'm going to find Japanese guy again. Ooh, Delmise. Okay. So, Delmise has become kind of a weird Pokemon because, like, it's got really good offense. But I think it's turned into a way more supportive Pokemon now. Like, because it gets Ally Switch and Helping Hand. So... That is kind of what I would expect from Delmise. It doesn't get Trick Room. If it got Trick Room, that would be a really good Pokemon, but... Not getting Trick Room itself has, has hurt it quite a bit. So... Again, I do like my Breloom as a lead. But the problem, like, the problems could be if he leads with his Coco and I can't spore things. But he's got two Pokemon off the ground. And the other Pokemon can be... Oh, only Delmise would be an issue. And because of that, I'm going to lead with Charizard with the Breloom so I can cover the Delmise. And even if he leads with Tapu Koko, that won't be so bad because Omega Evolve into a, a Dragon and his Electric Moves won't do so much. So that should be okay. Um, I don't want Aegislash Slash here. He's got four things super effective against it. I do want my Lele. And then here, do I want Landorus or my Lotic? I don't think I want my Lotic. So actually, it's, uh, I think it's more of an obvious um, I want the Landorus here. So... A bit unusual that I don't really want um, Age of Slash and Milotic. Those are the two that would change. Um, Age of Slash and Milotic. So, um, and I, I, like, like I said, like there was only a few comments, but the majority was leaning towards doing the slight changes. Like the other four will stay exactly the same. I don't change them at all. It's just changing those two for different Pokemon because um, I don't particularly like Milotic. Um, it never does any work for me, and neither does Age of Slash. So, or at least this Age of Slash because. Um, because I like the Z-Move on the Lele. I don't particularly want to have Z-Move on H-Slash as well. Even though that is probably, objectively, the, the correct thing to do. Um, but this is going to be an interesting turn right now. Because I think I've got a fairly free superpower and switch. But which one do I superpower? Because... If I superpower the Tyranitar, he could just go for a Flare Blitz and KO my Breloom. If I knock out the Incineroar, Tyranitar doesn't get a KO here. I think I will superpower the Tyranitar because it's more threatening to my Charizard. So I'm going to switch into Lele and superpower the, the Tyranitar. One of them could easily switch into Cresselia or the Delmise even. Um, but we'll see. Because this stops any fake outs. Uh, the worst case now is a protect player blitz. That would be very bad right now. Nice, nice. So that that was the main reason why I went for super power into the Tyranitar. Because the Incineroar was the one that was going to fake out and do nothing if it went for fake out. So um, like that that was readable. Like most Lele switches on fake outs are readable. But um, I think that was... Like, obviously it was, but I think that was the more optimal one. Because Protect and Flare Blitz would have been unlikely. Like, entirely possible, because that was that was a very readable move. But um, then again, he could have been worried about Spore in, into one of his Pokemon. Or even just the Mac Punch. Because um, he may think, I can't Mac Punch if I switch into my Tapu Lele. So, that's entirely reasonable from him. So now, do I want to learn... The minus one superpower calc on the Incineral. Because I'm definitely um, Shattered psyche the the Charizard. But I think I do want to save my Breloom here. And I will go into my own Charizard. Even though my own Charizard probably... Is it better to go into Landorus to keep my Charizard as healthy as possible? Because a Heat Wave won't do too much to Charizard. But Charizard looks amazing here. But so does Landorus to be fair. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch into Charizard. And I will go for a Shattered Psyche into the... Um, the Charizard. I'm not going to Shattered Psyche in Incineroar, even though that earned me my um, my trip to Worlds in 17. That match I Shattered Psyche in Incineroar, and it turned into a Scarf Cartana, which disappeared and instantly won me the match, but yeah, I'm not going to do that here. He is Mega Revolving, which should imply he's attacking. Because um, you should, like, in that situation, I don't think you Mega Revolve. Like, even though there's the sand, I don't think you Mega Revolve and protect here. But the trend, like, annoyingly, the trend is Timid Charizard, so that does outspeed Tapu Lele. Which does make things a bit awkward. But, yeah. We're going to get the Shattered Psyche first. Um, 
I was expecting for a second that the Incineral was doing the Z move, or the, like because the Charizard can't. But um, this this KOs Charizard, so now I'm in a very very good position. Um, if he goes for knockoff or darkest lariat, or even flare blitz, um, actually, could, no flare blitz would KO my Lele um, because of the sun boost. So, like, okay, so Mega Evolve Protect would have made sense in that case because then you'd have got the sun boost on the Incineral's flare blitz and that would have KO'd the Lele. So. Um, but this has worked out fine. It's going to be the Z-move, and that's going to be Malicious Moonsault. Yes. Okay. And that's going to be into, um, surely Tapu Lele. You wouldn't do that into what was a Brilling. But that seems a bit strange to me, considering you've got the Sun Boost. Surely you know that Flevis is enough. I guess you don't want to take any unnecessary recoil. And there isn't much else that you'd want to, uh, Malicious Moonsault. I guess my Charizard, but you can't do that now. But definitely... A worthwhile trade there. Um, the Lele for the... Um, the Lele for the Charizard. Uh, even if he's got Tapu Koko in the back, that's not an issue because um, my Charizard is going to turn into a dragon. So... Um, that would mean I can't spore things, but then I'd just superpower the Incineral. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, it's Tapu Koko. So I'm, I'm just going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to Dragon Dance and superpower the Incineral. It's like superpower KOs the Incineral. That, like, I have no doubt about that. Um, so I don't think there is any way out, unless he, like, T-Bolt paralyzes my, my Charizard. Um, is Dragon Dance necessary? Because Fleb is, even without the Sun KOs, um, regular Tap Coco. So do I need to Dragon Dance? Is there any reason to? Because um, I can just end it this turn, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna speed it up. I'm just gonna go for a Flare Blitz, and I will superpower the Incineroar. Maybe if it, no, because if, if he was Scarf Coco, that may be his only out. Because if he locks into Daz and Gleam here, um, and is a Scarf one, and then double crits my Charizard, um, then there is maybe a way out for him. Because um, I would turn into a dragon. So, maybe he, may, like, that that would be his only way out, I would say. Maybe, like, with the T-Ball Paralysis as well, but um, that, that should be reason enough, even though unlikely a choice Scarf Coco double critting does and gleam should be reason enough not to dragon dance okay he does protect incineral so um most malicious moonsault ones do have protect i think so it should be ko on my brelium here yeah he is okay so is he going to be a sash coco though because that could be awkward because only sash can save him now or focus band <laughs> But yeah, that's 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 fine. Um, Dragon Dance wouldn't have been necessary because um, then he could have gone for a Protect on his Coco and um, Darkest Lariat crit my Charizard. I don't think that Darkest Lariat it'd be close. Charizard's got decent defense, but no, actually no, it, it, it would need to crit because I'm sending in an Intimidator now. So uh, straight out Flare Blitz was best than Dragon Dance because um, he could Protect and, and Darkest Lariat crit and then have Hidden Power Ice on his Coco. So yeah, Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz was correct. Um, in the sun, Flare Blitz should be stronger than Thunder Punch. But no, we, we've got Terrain as well. So which would be stronger? That's going to be 180 down to 90. And that's just still going to be 75. Both get a 1.5 times boost. So Flare Blitz is still stronger. Although Thunder Punch doesn't give me any recall. And it, does, it, like, it doesn't matter. Earth Power, because he's not Assault Vest, any move into Earth Power will KO his Incineroar. So it didn't really matter. Like... <laughs> we didn't even get to see the the turns, but that was nice. That was that was really nice. Um, that game won. That was lovely. <laughs> I've been waiting to do that on, in a video for a while because that that is always the best when you when you waste the Como Oz move. Um, but yeah, like, like I I will be unless there's like a a flood of people saying in the comments now um, don't change the team at all. Um, but it is only two Pokemon, and I think it makes the team slightly better. Um, but I will be switching to that for the next next week. So. Like, like I said, I'll, I will be doing my MPA match tonight. Um, I don't know if, like... Because I am planning to put up the two weeks' worth of replays from Showdown. Don't know when that will be, because there's also the Zelda challenge um, tomorrow as well. So that might t take up a bit more time, because I do have to revise before that as well, because my exams are so close, and then I have the challenge. Um, but I don't know when the, the replays will go up. Maybe, maybe like, next week or something, because I, I would like it up this weekend, but we'll see time-wise, because I will be very, very busy in the next few days but yeah like I'll, I'll be coming back with pretty much the same team but hopefully slightly better next week so look forward to that thanks for watching